It is a ranch day. Well, yeehaw, cowgirl. It's actually a, it's a gardening day. We're planting watermelons and pumpkins today. And corn. And corn. Gardening slash farming, it's a big garden. I don't even know like, what the cutoff is to go from like garden to, to farming, but we're doing sugar baby watermelons. They're smaller, they mature in about 70 days. Two rows of those, and then two rows of a slightly larger um, that'll mature in about 80, 80 days. So we can have a fresh crop of sugar babies and then have when those are all done we'll have another crop so we're going to extend our season a bit we've got the same pumpkins we're going to time those bad boys right for uh, right for halloween all the seeds for all of this i kid you not all of these seeds was seven dollars it's seven dollars for enough seeds to plant this entire field we're gonna uh, not waste any water so we've got blank rainbird hose here this is half inch and we're gonna poke a hole in it every spot that we're planting should be the uh, fastest and easiest way to do this. And then everyone involved gets to reap the benefits. So uh, Foch and I are gonna be eating watermelons <laughs> to a gluttonous, so we can eat no more. The flags are just marking where to run our pipe. And then once we run our pipe, we're gonna pile up uh, a little mound of dirt right on top of that hole we made, put the seeds on top of that. So it's gonna get that whole hill uh, saturated with water. Got it. Um, but that's what we're gonna start doing here. So Cutter, you wanna pull the pipe? I can pull the pipe. Wherever there's a flag, he's poking a hole. And theoretically, and hopefully, water starts flowing out of this. Ready? I'm ready. You'll see. They'll all see. Please. <laughs> hey, come here, look. I see it. I see it. There it is. Proud Papa, proud Papa. <laughs> As you can see, Alex made a dirt pile, pumpkin seeds in Wait, hand. Hold on, hold on. What? That's not for pumpkins, that's watermelons. Okay, this is not we for pumpkins. Pretend that I was putting pumpkin seeds or watermelon seeds in there. No. Got it, okay, you pause. Two rows of Taking not pumpkin, but watermelon seeds, dirt pile, dig a little hole, put those in there, cover it up with dirt. Rinse and repeat. Like a dog living in a single wide. Yes, I would. The whole system all connects right here. Daisy chain together. And then five 100 foot long hoses run up that hill. Feels good. It's a lot of work to do in a day, half a day really. That's probably five hours worth of work. Pumpkins. Pumpkins, pumpkins, pumpkins. And each one of those, each vine can produce four or five pumpkins. We have a hundred pumpkins for that. Yeah. So there's three seeds in each one. After they germinate and they start sprouting, whichever one looks like it's gonna do the best, you kill. spare and then you kill his brothers. Weak, underdeveloped brothers, just snip them. Two rows of a, a larger watermelon, about 85 days to mature. You got two rows of sugar babies. They're like round, smaller ones, about 70 days to mature. I mean, if you have this many and you harvest them all, I mean, how fast can you eat watermelons? <laughs> oh, dude, I'll be like Scrooge McDuck in my vault. Instead of gold coins, I'll be swimming through sugar baby watermelons. This is the kind of stuff that you don't need to know, but it's really freaking cool to know. This isn't rocket science. This is seeds and irrigation. Watermelon margaritas, watermelon hand lotion, and like watermelon lip balm, I'm just, I'm gonna Everything. be everything's just watermelon. watermelon. Yeah. Got it. Do you want to pull the flags the out? The key is <laughs> watermelon. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'd rather be took in a pit blind somewhere on a Mississippi, Louisiana state line, waiting on them green heads to do a fly by, lip full of tobacco. When I hear you bitching me. Can y'all hear that? Sounds like a tornado siren. Caribou coffee. I, I don't know if this is anywhere but the Midwest. Is it done? That sounded like a fade out. We are currently in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. F-O-N-D-D-U-L-A-C. Wisconsin just very much holds the torch, or maybe the Midwest for fun. 
city names. Why am I in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, you may ask? That's a good question. My dad's buddy, Rich, and they, they go way back to, I believe, like AOL days, like early 2000s, um, has started and is working on an x-ray company. I don't know how much I can disclose of what the company actually does. I don't want to get in trouble, so I'm just going to leave it at that. I uh, was helping him with a video for the brand. Today I'm going to show you why you can find x and discuss next steps that make sense. God. Connor, this is work. Oh no, I'm away, I'm away. And uh, <laughs> all right, <laughs> gotta be a little more careful with the shield. Yeah, that, 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 um, that seems smoother. Yeah. Got him last night, stayed the night in Fond du Lac, and I'm about to head to Milwaukee to see my Nana, and I'll be spending the evening with her. Currently on Lake Winnebago, probably where they got the Winnebago's, those big RV things. Without further ado, that is a sweet sports car. That was sweet, I think it was Corvette. Um, but anyways, heading back to Milwaukee now. It is just gorgeous out here. Absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> there are so many flies, I forgot. That's, I forgot about that with the Midwest, all these gnats. Guys, we are currently at the Milwaukee Lakefront. I'm gonna go on a run. I don't run, so let's see how this goes. Probably go like two, three miles. So yeah, wish me luck. I expect a lot of shin splints, possibly cramps, anything else that would come when not running a lot. So let's see, two, three miles. I think I can do it. Okay, uh, we're done. Six miles later, that hurt. Honestly, I got excited. I, I had a landmark I wanted to go to which is a lighthouse near like the home bridge, the home bridge, whichever that kind of iconic bridge is in Milwaukee. And then that got me to about five miles all around. And then once I got to five miles, I really wanted six. So I just ran six. I'm happy with that. Haven't ran God knows how long. Around a 920 pace. You can literally see exactly where the sad boy country hit. And I got really excited and amped. And then you could see the next mile that sad boy energy really faded fast, especially for that last mile. But it's time to go see Nana, solid run, solid run in Milwaukee. Currently at Nana Focha's home, specifically in Mother Mary's room, kind of in the, the west wing of the house. It's just a beautiful room. I know my Nana comes in here and prays, I believe every morning, says the rosary, prays to Mother Mary, and it's just a beautiful room. As Mark Wahlberg would say, stay prayed up. Happy Sunday, everybody. God bless you. Stay prayed up. Stay focused on what matters. Yeah, it's so quiet. All you can hear is some, some birds chirping outside. It's just it's a beautiful way to start the day. Close but never hold you back Just like the banks to the river And if you ever feel like you are not enough That is the Foch family time clock. Hard to miss. So today, it is Sunday. We're about to go to Brew City CrossFit where I used to do CrossFit when I was in college. Not normally a Sunday workout kind of guy, but especially with the travel and the BCS Classic coming up in College Station in really a few weeks, gotta stay focused. And then later this evening, we'll be flying back to Dallas. I'm also drinking hot coffee and I am, I am not a hot coffee guy. Yeah, I just don't, I don't, I don't get it. Iced coffee's the way. It is 71 degrees here in Wisconsin. It is a perfect morning. Gorgeous. Such a great morning to enjoy this steaming hot uh, cup of coffee. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna go put some ice in that. It doesn't matter if we win or lose. So I can stay or I can come no matter where you're coming from. Long as I can flow along with you. I wanna hold you close but never hold you back. It's like the banks to the river. So many memories when I'm in here. A lot of really good ones. 10 minute EMOM of back squatting. We're starting around 60%, which is around 275 for me, and then we're getting up to 93% plus. Going off of a 435 back squat, uh, that, don't know how doable that is, but we will give it our best, we'll give it a go. All right, now there's some weight on the bar. We're at uh, 365. This one gets a little scary.
This is the first one above 400 pounds, 405. Those bumper plates really feeding the ego there. Uh, finished at 4, 410. It's pretty good, 410. We're doing D-Town's workout from yesterday, which was a partner workout, but I'm gonna do it solo. 400 meter run into Russian kettlebell swings, goblet squats, and push-ups. And the rep scheme is 30, 20, 10, 20, 30. So you go down, then up. So like the round of 30 is one round. So every round you do a 400 meter run to start it. This is gonna be a lot. It's supposed to be partner, but I think this is a good workout for me. It's gonna be long. For those that don't know, a Russian kettlebell swing is when you bring it to eye level. I haven't done a Russian kettlebell swing in like years, at least in a workout. It's usually always American, which is all the way overhead. All right. Get this going. I heard Cyrus first time that I saw you smile. Yeah, mama couldn't tame a little wild child. Grew up right on the county line that you weren't afraid to cross. You're the kind of girl that could tear up the town. Hell up on the heart, put your head in the clouds. Hit the radio on the rodeo. Baby, let's get lost Too late now to stop It's like lightning on my lips Every time you kiss me Two seconds that hard Zero to sixty Carry me away like the Mississippi Rose Gone sunset It's my silver lining Bouncing off your eyes Like a couple of diamonds So, that was good uh, Six miles running yesterday A little over a mile running there that was a run workout, and funny enough, I put 40 minutes on my clock with the cap, and I was like, there's no way I'm near that. It took me 37.50 to finish that. Very sweaty, especially when traveling, I feel like that's perfect. It was good. I'm happy with that. Hardest part, running. Not even close. It's wild to think that the first time I stepped in these doors, I believe I was a junior in college, eight years ago. Time flies. Yeah, it feels like a really long time ago. Who do you think is gonna win it? What are we talking about? Tia? Oh, yeah. Ah! Oh, yeah, Tia will win. Brio just asked me who, who's gonna win the games. Tia. The guys, I have no idea. Probably Adler. If I had to guess, Adler. He's a beast. If you're ever in Milwaukee and you want an absolutely massive CrossFit gym with a great community and you can just join a class or do your own thing, Bruce City CrossFit, best gym in Milwaukee by far. It's actually a CrossFit gym. I know some CrossFit gyms get a little like boot campy. Not Bruce City CrossFit. This is like a tried and true CrossFit gym. If you're a longtime viewer, you know exactly what we're up to. Can Lully gag. We need to go back to Nana's. Um, spend some quality time with her. We have a very early dinner scheduled for today because I fly out at seven. So we're gonna do like a four o'clock dinner. So, no time to waste. Rolling 21s with an ace and a queen. 35s hitting full head of steam. Shotgun rider with the hair in a... I feel like so few people actually know of Milwaukee. A little, little hidden gem here in the Midwest. It's like lighting on my lips every time you kiss me. Two seconds flat hard, zero to 60. Carry me away. Corvette's my nanas. <laughs> Casual. <laughs> Milwaukee drone flight. One of many. All right. Back to nanas. Yes, sir. Oh, no, you're good. First timer. Yes. We are at Casa de Nana. Every time I visit, it is countless hours at Nana's counter. And I know that's with everyone that visits, whether it's friends, family, cousins, you name it. Many stories told here and a lot of advice given. So, Nana, spotlight's on you. Tidbits of advice, anything. It was just my Nana's birthday not too long ago as well. So, happy birthday to Nana. Let me tell you, 92 is where it's at. <laughs> there you Because, you, you know, you're so stinking old, you can get away with murder, and I love it. We're talking about the island. What is said at the island stays at the island, unless it's something you want to share. <laughs> I'm going to say what I always say, and this really applies to old people. you got to be positive, because who the heck wants to be chum out with somebody who's a negative old you-know-what? and I don't want to be a negative, you know what. So, happy positive. There you go, everybody. Stay positive and another uh, amazing trip to Wisconsin. <laughs> I love it, I love it. Always. Nana Fosh will be back on the vlog shortly. You bet. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> love you, Nana, bye-bye. You are beautiful and wild every 
return. Next week, we're going to California with Caitlin, um, my youngest sister. Of course, I'm gonna bring y'all along with me. I recently got a new job, which it's really no secret. You really just go like find it on LinkedIn if you really wanted to, but I'll talk about that in the future. It's, it's a dream job and it's just really neat. Really, really neat. But without further ado. I wanna hold you close, but never hold you back. It's like the banks to the river. And if you ever feel like you are not enough, I'm gonna break all your mirrors.